Prime Minister Marapene's statement said New Pogera shows a new direction in the handling of negotiations with mining companies for better benefit sharing for Papua New Guinean stakeholders, as he commended developer Barrick Gold Corporation for settling to a win-win agreement for all parties. The PM says it has been a long road towards the reopening of Pogera Mine, but it has been worth the effort. The result is a partnership between PNG and two leading global mining companies, Barik and Zijing. Marpa said for the first time such an agreement has given majority ownership in a major resource project to Papua New Guinean shareholders. Under the renegotiated arrangements, New Pogera has 51% ownership by PNG stakeholders. They include the state via its mining company Kumul Minerals Holdings Limited, Enga Provincial Government, and local landowners. Bari Gold Corporation and Zijing Mining Group together have 49% share. Over the 20-year life of mine, PNG shareholders, which comprises Pogera landowners, Enga Province, and the state, will receive 53% of Pogera's overall economic benefits. The investors will share the remaining 47%. Prime Minister announced the steps that will be taken to reach full production in the third quarter of 2024. Operations will start on the 22nd of December with recommissioning of equipment to continue into the first couple of weeks following reopening. Mining and processing operations will start in the first quarter of 2024 with the first gold pour thereafter. The operations will swing into full production in the third quarter of 2024 with recruitment to last until the end of 2024 to meet a employee target of 3,200. However, Marape also highlighted that the return of the mine to full production will also depend on the Heights power station and transmission lines being brought back following recent acts of vandalism and there being no further damage to the mine and its central infrastructure. He also assured landowners and impacted parties that negotiations about the Community Development Agreement will commence in the first quarter of 2024. Jasmine Erojak, TV1 News.